So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. Now a word from our sponsors. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. What did he say? Oh. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage. Yeah, it's rewind time. Now, uh, we were in Cleveland for the Republican National Convention. It seemed like Donald Trump and uh, company were trying to make an overture to the South Asian community. They had a, a Sikh Ardas to start off day two. They had Muslims for Trump. Uh, what, if anything, is the Democratic Party trying to do to, to get South Asians involved in, in this party? Yeah, well, the, the Democratic Party for, for a very long time, not just this election cycle, has been doing a lot of active outreach around um, the South Asians, around the API in general, and, and will continue to do it. I mean, we, what we know in particular when you're talking about South Asian community, we're talking about the Indian community more specifically, um, it is a growing community in the United States um, in terms of its voting bloc, in terms of its participation, and um, and I think the party knows that and, and knows that this is part of a, a, our collective community and, and there needs to be outreach and inclusion. And certainly you could become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not quite. <laughs> Kamala Harris, Attorney General of California, U.S. Senate candidate, thank you so much. You. And she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black. One of the questions that the black community has mm -hmm. is, Senator Harris, if you yeah. are elected president, what would be your agenda for the black community? Right. We know that right. black Americans are arrested at higher rates for That's marijuana. Right. We're denied mortgages when we uh, loans exactly for mortgages. Right. There's a, a wealth right. disparity. So how do you That's help right. the black community from That's the White right. House? That's right. Well, the first step is to understand that the needs of black folks are the needs of everyone, and the needs of everyone are the needs of black folks. It is also equally important to understand that this is a country that had over 200 years of slavery. 200 years of slavery. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Had Jim Crow, had legalized segregation and discrimination, and now de facto segregation and discrimination. Until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. Becoming the first Indian American woman to be nominated as a vice presidential candidate in America. I stand before you as the first candidate for vice president of the United States of South Asian descent. She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. HBCUs, for example. I am a proud graduate of Howard University. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't, because she was Indian. Or I stand before you as the first candidate for vice president of the United States of South Asian descent. All the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went. So here's what I want to know. Okay. Is it respectful to call, like, I should be calling you Senator Harris, no, right? No, you should not. That's not on my birth certificate. Okay. Call, Comma? Call me, yes, please. Okay, because the Indian in me, I feel like my parents, <laughs> my dad will watch this. Just don't call me auntie. Yes. Just don't call me auntie. Yes. Just don't call me auntie. Okay. <laughs> okay. I won't call you auntie. They'll be like, how could you call her by her first name? She's worked so hard. Okay, so what we're going to cook today okay. is cool. an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are yes. Indian. Yes. You are yes. Indian. Yes. You are yes. Indian. Yes. yes. Okay, and yes. I don't know that everybody knows that, but I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people, the uh -huh. supermarket, uh -huh. on the street, everyone's like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our <laughs> thing we're so excited about. Yes. You are yes. Indian to have you running for president. Yeah. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. So we're both Indian, yes. but actually we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look like the entire ha one half of my family. Okay, thank you. You do. Yes. You are yes. Indian. I've been telling people you we're do. related already, yeah. so this is uh -huh. perfect. It's basically <laughs> true. Uh, and so were you raised eating South Indian food? South Indian food. Lots of rice and yogurt, potato curry, dal, lots of dal, idli. Yes, Italy. Mm. That's a deep cut. Okay, so what we're cooking today is... All right, Marlon, so I know how to make a mean pot of greens. In fact, people used to ask me to make greens for them for Christmas. One year, I had so many that I had to wash that we ended up washing them in the bathtub. So I am not playing around. She became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that I think she somebody should look into that, too, when you ask... 
Like so many other holidays, we will be celebrating Kwanzaa a little differently this season in our home. You know, my sister and I, we grew up celebrating Kwanzaa. Every year, our family would, and our extended family, we would gather around across multiple generations and we'd tell stories. The kids would sit on the carpet and the elders would sit in chairs and, and we would light the candles and of course afterwards have a beautiful meal. South Indian food, lots of rice and yogurt, potato curry, dal, lots of dal, idli. Yes, idli, mm -hmm. that's a deep cut. Okay, so what we're cooking today is that one didn't age quite so well. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Yo, hit that like for Dill Chris Joe. Yo, for Dill Chris Joe, just smash that bell. Yo, smash it, just smash it. Hit that like for Dill Chris Joe. For Dill Chris Joe, just smash that bell. Yo, smash it, just smash it. It's a life for a typical Christian